Uh, he was always a topic of sort of discussion, certainly in the tabloid industry. And basically what happened is one day the L.A. Times drops this bombshell that a young man is uh, basically uh, accusing Michael Jackson of the first round of, of uh, you know, inappropriate behavior. Yeah. L.A. Times drops this bombshell and boom, the tabloid world goes nuts. And uh, within hours, uh, we got some word that Elizabeth Taylor, Michael Jackson's dear friend, was about to get on an airplane to fly from L.A. to uh, Singapore, where Michael was on the dangerous tour when the story broke. Suddenly you have Michael out on this billion-dollar tour. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the size and scale of that concert is still just, it, it takes my breath away. Uh, it, was in a, it was in a soccer stadium that housed more than 100,000 people packed. Jesus. I mean, it was it just a scene like you've never seen. Amazing performance. So anyhow, the the dangerous tour is is mid tour when the story breaks. Suddenly, what's going to happen? Are they going to go over and arrest Michael Jackson? Somebody gets some intel uh, at our New York office at a current affair that Elizabeth Taylor is going to get on an airplane and fly over to Singapore to be with Michael because they are dear friends. And my assignment was, if she gets on that plane. I don't. They didn't care if I was hanging on from the back of the, the <laughs> rudder. I better. Me and a cameraman better be with her on that plane. That's. Yeah. The, and those are the sort of mandates you get. I mean, that's it's like you win it or you don't win it. You either get the prize or you don't. So with that, uh, with that uh, directive, uh, my uh, one of my dearest and closest friends, an extraordinary Australian cameraman by the name of Alex Fragnito worked with him he was the ninja cameraman <laughs> told him we're uh, we're tra we're traveling we're going and he's uh, we get to lax and we get this was way uh, pre 9-11 long before 9-11 so different. the security was uh, you know significantly different we would have been we would have been arrested early on in this caper if it was today we never would have made it but we get uh, right up we get our tickets and uh First class tickets, of course, because if Elizabeth Taylor's going to fly, she's going to fly first class. So they book us first class tickets. Alex and I get into the waiting room with all of our gear because we may be on the road. We're going to, you know, we're going to Southeast Asia or yeah. whatever. And uh, so we better be ready. And uh, and we don't, and then she doesn't get on. There's no, there's no sign of her. She, they board the plane. We're standing around with basically literally in the doorway between the waiting area and that little runway, the enclosed tunnel that will take you down there. And a ticket agent's now, this is dragged on, and we're, we're fighting for time because she's not on the plane. And we got to get on the plane. We're not, and she's telling, you you, make that boys, decision. make the call, dude. Yeah. And it takes on and on and on, and we stall and stall and stall. And uh, we're thinking, oh, did she get on without us knowing? I mean, we'd watched every, but we watched the plane come up to the, the terminal. We'd been there early. Uh, had, and no, she had not gotten on to our knowledge. And uh, so suddenly they, they're about to call security then and arrest us. And uh, we look out, we look out the window, and we see a limo driving up on the tarmac <laughs> at the last minute. No way. A staircase sort of comes out from a not, and she doesn't go up the tunnel. There's a staircase that they bring out. What? And a uh, limo, and Elizabeth <laughs> Taylor, her husband, Larry Fortensky. Uh -huh. And uh, the meanest, nastiest bodyguard, <laughs> one of the meanest, nastiest bodyguards that I have ever encountered, get off of that limo, scurry up those steps, and suddenly we're banging down. We're just, <laughs> we're on now. <laughs> we're run, blow past the uh, ticket agent. Uh, if, if we were rude, I am so sorry. <laughs> we probably were. Ended up uh, crashing into the first class cabin of this plane. As Elizabeth Taylor and her entourage are coming on. And so we're just all, all there. <laughs> These flight attendants, very nice people from Singapore Airlines, were terrified or you know just mortified that they had these two clashing <laughs> and she they immediately knew what we were doing oh. and who we were and there were a couple of scribblers uh, english tabloid guys who'd gotten on the plane already and L elizabeth taylor and her bodyguard are in the business and knowing who the who we were yeah, they yeah. had they had radar for that so it made for a very interesting flight. All of us <laughs> stuck in the first class cabin of that flight for the next 22 hours Jesus. with a stop in Taipei. So it was a lot of fun. But then so that's how I got on the story. 
mean, that initial time, Elizabeth Taylor's the one who sang it for her. That's that crazy. Movie.